This is the day the Lord has made, and we have come to rejoice and be glad in it. Today, we celebrate the departure of ninth grade students at D.W. Davis Junior High School. Having faced the pandemic and all of the challenges that go along with it, we all have much to give God thanks for. Martha Graham said, Fire is the test of gold, adversity of strong men. We, the class of 2022, has shown that we are strong, for we have overcome the obstacles that were set before us. I am Sophie Raymond, and I am your moderator for this momentous occasion. I hope that today's presentation inspires you to press on as well and triumph over every challenge that stands in your way. Coming now to bring you a warm welcome is Amari Clark. Time has gone by quickly. It did not slow its pace. And now our days are done in this royal place. Challenges were many, but we have overcome. We fought and got the victory. A new day has begun. Good morning to all officials from the Ministry of Education, Principal Brown and other administrators, teachers, support staff, parents, and students. You are all warmly welcome to this departure ceremony for the students of D.W. Davis Junior High School. We all celebrate our triumph over the many uncertainties we faced and look forward to a bright and successful future. It is my pleasure to welcome each and every one of you joining us this morning virtually. Your presence is important to us, and I thank you for taking the time to celebrate with us. Again, I welcome you. What a lovely welcome. I am sure that you feel that you are at home with the royals. Our scripture will now be read by Cameron Sanders. The scripture reading is taken from 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Coming to lead us in prayer is Kitura Salfin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for blessing us to see this new day and the completion of our years in junior high school. We praise you for your love, protection, and faithfulness during the pandemic. Although many passed on, we are still here, and for that, we give you glory. Father, you have been our strength and a present help in the time of trouble. And because of this, we did not fail. Your steadfastness allowed us to overcome and be victorious in the face of every challenge. Now we are on a path to a brighter tomorrow. Father, please continue to go before us and be our help. Please help us by the power of your Holy Spirit to never forget your faithfulness and to hold on to your mighty hand as we journey into tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I have no doubt that we were all blessed by that prayer. With Neil Shaw Dangerville will now lead us in the national anthem and the pledge. Please stand at attention for the singing of the national anthem, followed by the pledge.
Our illustrious speaker will now be introduced by Rene Panza. Commenced his early childhood education at Sedgwick Family and then on to D.W. Davis for his secondary studies. After completing high school, he became heavily involved in gang-related activities. It was not until some years later a Damascus Road experience led him to surrender his life to the Lord. This was his defining moment. Pastor George became sold out to the things of God. It was at that time he became an active member of the Mount Tabor Church with a passion for evangelism. His zeal afforded him the opportunity to function as a counselor and SWAT team leader in the evangelism ministry where he had many opportunities to share his testimony and lead persons to Christ. To further prepare himself for the call of God upon his life, he pursued an associate's degree in theology at Beacon University, located in Columbus, Ohio. As Pastor George continued to be faithful, in the year 2003, he was licensed to preach the gospel and some three years later became an ordained elder at the Mount Tabor Church. It was his commitment, dedication, and faithfulness to the Lord that positioned him to be used in an unprecedented fashion. Pastor George always knew that the Lord had called him to pastor his people. However, the how, the what, and the when was unknown. In 2004, he received a prophetic word from the Lord through Bishop Neil C. Ellis confirming his assignment. Pastor George accepted the call of God and prepared himself by serving with the first assistant at Mount Tabor in the preparation for ministry. September of 2006, Pastor George officially became the senior pastor of Transforming Lives Ministries. On July 6, 2014, Pastor George was officially appointed as incoming pastor of Heritage Missionary Baptist Church. There is no doubt that he has been chosen and set apart for such a time as this, a warrior for Christ, a faithful steward. Pastor George continues to win the lost thus fulfilling the Great Commission of the Church. He shares his goals and aspirations with his wife, Lakeisha George, and two beautiful daughters, Shekinah and Faith. He pens his favorite text from Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Pastor George, is an anointed vessel, faithful and fully equipped to continue the work that God has predestined before the foundation of the earth. Grace and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Franz George, Senior Pastor here at Heritage Missionary Baptist Church, and it is a joy to share with you for this time that has been allotted to us. To overcome uncertainty, to move toward a bright future, you must take the limits off. So for the time that has been allotted to us, I want to share with you from this theme, this thought, this caption, taking the limits off. 
This is not the time to put limits on your life, your dream, and your potential. Let me say that again. This is not the time. This is not the season to put limits on your life, your dream, and your potential. This is important because most of the barriers that people put on themselves are man-made. They are invisible walls that we, through negative thoughts, have built in our mind, minds that limit and stop us from taking powerful steps of faith that will bring success and accomplishment. Hear me when I tell you today that negative thoughts build barriers that limit the thinker. Let me say it again. Negative thoughts build barriers that limit the thinker. If you're going to move toward a bright future, you must break free from every self-imposed limitation. Uh, this is important because you can only go as high as your thoughts will permit you. Let me say that one more time. You can only go as high as your thoughts will permit you. You cannot go higher uh, than your thoughts will permit you. You cannot be greater than what you think and believe you can. Uh, that's why Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7 says, As a man thinks, so is he. I want you to declare these words after me. Declare, I believe I can. Come on, one more time. I believe I can. And I believe that you must continue to speak that over your life and put it in the atmosphere because a negative mentality, it cripples us and holds us back. A person with a negative mentality is a prisoner of his own thoughts and will always be limited by them except they decide to change their mental disposition and believe in the God that believe in them. So I want to encourage you today that it's a time to believe in the God that believes in you. And as I close, I want to remind you that you have what it takes. Come on, declare that after me. I have what it takes. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Refuse to put limits on your life. Refuse to put limits on your dream and your potential. This is the time, this is the season to dream big, dream big. Take the limits off. And as you do so, I pray that the God of all grace will exceed your expectations. It is my prayer that the Lord will bless you always in all ways. Yes. This is our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. What a thought-provoking and inspiring message. I know that we will all apply it to our lives. Good morning, administrators, teachers, support staff, parents, and students. I am Doria Tanis, hair girl of the best junior high school of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Our life as junior high schoolers felt like it had just begun, but here we are at our war ceremony day. The last two years, we have experienced unprecedented times in education, having to become familiar with online schooling, when all our lives we have been face-to-face -face was not easy. We had many challenges, such as students not having Wi-Fi or devices. We also did not have many classes to prepare for BJCs, but our teachers did not give up. Even though we went through all those hurdles, we still made it to the end. This shows how strong and capable we are, and that with the grace of God, we can overcome any difficulty that comes our way. I am grateful to our dedicated administrators and teachers for all they have done for us during these last three years. If it not meant for them, we would not have made it this far. 
They never gave up on us. We appreciate the endless hours of instructions and guidance we receive from all. To my friends and pairs, I know most of us feel a bit unmotivated, stressed, and lazy because of COVID, but do not allow it to influence our future. I recall the words of our beautiful and caring Principal Brown, who always pointed out that we had to take our education seriously because no one in the years to come will remember the COVID and will not take pity on you. So princess and princesses, I encourage you to keep striving for excellence no matter how life gets you. You can do it once you believe that you can. Just put the hard work and know that God is on your side. I conclude with my favorite scriptures which states, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.
to the class of 2022. Congratulations on completing junior high school amidst very difficult and challenging conditions. COVID-19 forced you out of the school building, but you persevered and continued learning. Your carefree junior high years were taken away by quarantines, shutdowns, and social distancing. Yet you remained optimistic, finding new ways to overcome obstacles placed before you. As you move on to senior high school and beyond, know that life will continue to bring you challenges. Embrace them. Learn from them. Grow through them. Remain faithful to the dreams and aspirations in your heart. Ask God's guidance in whatever you do. May he bless you and keep you as you move forward. Farewell. Dear Royals, I am pleased to be a part of your junior high school years. You have made it and have stayed the course. As you leave these royal courts, be guided by the golden rule, that is, do unto others as you would have them do to you. Stay in the positive lane. Remain lifelong learners. Have faith in yourself and your ability to defy the odds. You are full of potential. You were created with gifts and abilities and a skill set that will help you to navigate through life. I believe that you have a bright future ahead. Yes, you do. Embrace the future now. It is my prayer that you would be all that you can become and that the Lord's face will shine upon you and grant you traveling mercies. Again, we are proud of you and I am elated to be a part of your journey of success. Continue to press on. This is my heart's desire for you. Thank you so much. From your senior master, Neil Hamilton. God bless.
Congratulations to the Royal Princes and Princesses of D.W. Davis Junior High School Class of 2022. The theme, Overcoming Uncertainty, Moving Towards a Brighter Future, is a timely one. You have reached a milestone in your lives. It is okay to have doubts about your life and academics. Remember, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. Your future is just that, yours. The new chapter in your book begins. Focus on you. Look back on your successes and failures to learn from them. Embrace positive change and develop new skills. Doing these things can take you toward having a brighter future. Best wishes to you all in any endeavors that you choose to pursue. May you have God's blessing as you embark on your new journey.
D.W. Davis's class of 2022. We salute our jams of three years here in the Royal Courts. Your theme, Overcoming Uncertainty, Moving Towards a Brighter Future, is a fitting one. You have weathered storms of enormous magnitude and they speak to your resilience and will to succeed. As you cherish the fruits of your hard work, we wish that success keeps following you in everything that you do. We believe that you can fly. Royals, the sky is your limit and the world is your oyster. Spread your wings and soar high. You've worked hard to achieve your goals and now you are on your way to seek new vistas. Dream big. Be determined to develop who you are. Embrace life with passion and keep reaching for your star. Chasing a dream requires effort, passion, and hard work. You are now at the halfway mark of your senior high journey. Keep up your good work and continue to strive for excellence. Congratulations and best wishes, Royals Class of 2022, from your ninth grade administrators, Vice Principal Mrs. C. Roberts and Senior Mistress Miss D. Clark.
Congratulations, Royal Class of 2022. You have made it to the second rung of your ladder of success in your secondary education. Yes, you have overcome adversities, but your future is bright. Take the royal attitudes, behaviors, and standards you have learned at D.W. Davis and distinguish yourselves in your various senior high schools. Soar toward the goals you have set for yourselves. Remember to always begin and end your day with God. I wish you every success in your senior high school journey. W. Davis, class of 2022. I am excited for this opportunity to congratulate you on your accomplishments thus far. 
the road was not easy. Having to navigate through a pandemic and having to study and learn, be it remotely or in the hybrid modality. Your theme, which is overcoming uncertainty, moving towards a brighter future, speaks to your resilience and tenacity. You have risen above the challenges and have proven that despite the obstacles, you will succeed. As you leave us, I extend best wishes and congratulations to you for all of your future endeavors. Love and blessings, Mrs. M. Miller, Vice Principal.
My dear Royal Class of 2022, together through God's goodness and grace, we weathered yet another year challenged by the COVID-19 pandemic. Gratefully, we were able to return to school face-to-face -face in February with a reprieve from the rigors of virtual teaching and learning. Your theme, Overcoming Uncertainty, Moving Towards a Brighter Future, is a most timely one, as it highlights your quest to overcome the uncertainty of the COVID-19 pandemic and life itself. What will you do to overcome the uncertainty? Let me suggest that you must prepare to be ready to brave life storms that will undoubtedly come. The Bible admonishes us to study to show yourself approved. I encourage you to complete senior high school and pursue university and professional education. While working towards your academic pursuits, remember that there is a human and spiritual side to this journey called life. We are called to help wherever and whenever we can to give back and pay forward to as many people as we can. We live in a global environment and in an era where we are advancing by leaps and bounds technologically and being informed constantly by digital and social media. However, selfishness and man's inhumanity to man persists. The war waged on the, Ukraine, on the Ukraine by Russia, the many mass shootings taking place in America, and the killings in our own land are prime examples and underscores this inhumanity. Please continue to pray for the innocent victims and their families, as well as the perpetrators. What will you do to move towards a brighter future? How will you make the world and country that you live in a better place? Whatever path you choose, ensure that our Bahama land is a part of your bright future. Work hard to become a productive, contributing member of society, one who is educated, a critical thinker, and most importantly, a God-fearing member of the human race. Be prepared to make a difference in this world. I take this opportunity now to thank all stakeholders who have supported our institution throughout the year. To the Ministry of Education, Technical and Vocational Training, our District Officers, Superintendent Farquharson, and District Education Officer Moss and staff. My most hardworking administrators, teachers, support staff, parents, school board, PTA, and community partners. May God continue to richly bless you. Class of 2022, you have been privileged to be a part of the best junior high school in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Remember that you are royalty, princes and princesses of the Most High God, who is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and there is no one else like you. Commit your life to this almighty God who has sustained and brought us through to this point. Remember that the God whom we serve will never leave you or forsake you. As you move towards a brighter future, take with you all of the principles that we sought to instill in you at D.W. Davis Junior High School. Represent us well wherever life takes you. Remember the golden rule and that good manners and respect will still take you throughout the world. It matters not how you started, but how you finish. I am expecting great things from you. Make us all proud and know that I will be watching, listening, and rooting for you from a distance. Carry with you our motto, no quest, no conquest. I will love you always. Have a wonderful life. 
Royals forever.
Our program is now coming to a close. Bringing the vote of thanks is Raven Robinson. It is my delightful task to bring the vote of thanks. I must begin by thanking our speaker, Reverend Franz George, who inspired and challenged us with this thought-provoking message. We were indeed blessed. Secondly, a special thank you must be given to Principal Brown and her administrative team for leading and guiding D.W. Davis through turbulent and uncertain times. She ensured that we emerged from every storm unscathed. In addition to Ms. Brown, I sincerely thank Ms. Roberts and Ms. Clark for planning this departure ceremony with a spirit of excellence. Immense gratitude was extended to all of the teaching staff who were steadfast and ensured that students were taught in spite of the difficulties that arose. Finally, I thank all of the parents and guardians who spared no expense and effort to ensure that their children had their devices and the necessary school supplies. Everyone did their part, and the class of 2022 at Davis Junior High School all came and won the victory.